Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you all about System.io's memberships. Now, I've been using System.io for a few months, so I know about this tool very well. And what I'm going to show you today is exactly what the memberships look like once they're completed, as well as actually how to set one up. It doesn't take long at all, so stick around for this video. Now, just so you know, if you haven't yet got started with System.io and you're thinking about it, I've actually got a mega bonus bundle that I'm giving away if you decide to join using the link in the description. Basically what I'm going to be showing you is how to use each single part of system.io as well as my personal recommendations and then if you want to make some passive income with system.io I also have a training in here which shows you how I make four figures from system.io. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you what the membership looks like. So at the moment, this is one of my video courses. It's called the local SEO video domination. Basically, it's how people can rank on the top of Google using uh, YouTube and simple little SEO hacks. But as you can see, it's a very clean looking user experience inside of the course. It has your own logins per course as well as all everything like that. But as you can see, it's extremely clean. You can click next, previous, everything's there. And then also if you go to the overview, this is basically what it looks like, right? You've got a little section here as well as this part. So that's basically it for the membership. Memberships aren't supposed to be too in depth. They're literally supposed to be easy to use, easy to navigate, easy to actually absorb the information. And then of course there's the markers complete bottom, which gives you a little check um, like so. So let's go ahead and actually start building this thing. So first of all, here is my current uh, membership area. I'm on the webinar plan, which allows me to have five membership courses. Lucky for me, I'm gonna put in my fifth now. So what you wanna do is come to the top here to products, come down to courses, and then what you wanna do is click add a new course. Now, once you've got it here, you wanna name your course. So this particular example, I'm just gonna call it the YouTube example, just to keep a good reference so I understand what it's about. Next, you wanna have a description. So for this particular one, I'm gonna say, this teaches you how to rank your videos on YouTube uh, quickly and easily, right? And then over here, we've got the URL path. Now this is gonna be your standard system.io link, but you can also change your domain at the bottom once you've added a custom domain. So I'm just gonna call this the YouTube course, like so. Next, we have a color scheme. Um, so what you can do is click on the color if you wanna choose your particular color from the wheel or else you can actually type in your color code. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it as is for now but that's what that is all about. Um, just to give you an idea of what that looks like as well, it's this color here, right? So this color all around it is the color code. Now, next of all, we have the uh, image, right? So we've got uh, first an image, and then we've got small image, just to show you what those are. This is the image, right? This is the top image. And then we've got the small image, which actually goes here. At the moment, it's just a hat. I haven't actually put anything inside of it. So you can add those yourself. Uh, I highly recommend just getting a long, thin image for your top header, just so people can see the actual course content like so, but I'll leave those blank for now. Um, here is where you can actually add, add in your HTML or JavaScript code if you want it. And then finally at the bottom, we've got custom domains. Now the good part about this is if you do add a custom domain and maybe you added it later on, it's not going to take it away from your existing membership. So if you already have students, they're still gonna be able to access it using your native domain with system, right? So let's just say I wanna use funnel scene. It's also gonna use the uh, original uh, system URL as well. So everything's good. So I'm gonna go ahead, click save, and now we are ready to roll. So there's nothing inside of here. What we wanna do is first of all, come to add modules. And this is where we can start adding our modules. So I'm gonna call this uh, module one, and this can be uh, overview, right? So click on that, click on save. And now we have our first module. Next, we wanna choose a lecture, right? So we can click add a lecture and this is where you're gonna have your first training. So I'm just gonna call this the introduction, right? You can also have your own little image in there if you wish. I usually just leave it and leave it on text and press save, okay? And then I'll show you quickly how you can edit it. So here is the editor. It's extremely easy to use, it's drag and drop, everything's um, super easy to navigate. So what I'm gonna do is just delete all the fluff that I don't need. I personally like the sort of minimalist type of um, sort of layout, so I'm gonna create one just like this. So what we wanna do is we can delete all this stuff. Uh, just to let you know as well, you've got your three different sections. You've got your, 
your uh, you've got your row which is blue you've got your sort of module or your element which is orange and then you've also got your section which is green so what I'm going to do is just de delete the element leave this one here delete the second one right and then delete this at the bottom like so it's quite a bit of stuff in here and the good part about it is once you've actually created your layout that's why I like them having everything there's all the modules already laid out so you just create it how you want it to look and then you duplicate it for the rest of your modules so the theme is still the same right so delete all this still taking a little while how much is in here there's a lot so I'm actually just gonna pause the video and just delete all this okay so we've deleted pretty much everything what I'm actually going to do is rename this to module one is overview um, actually it's lesson one lesson one overview right and I'm actually delete this image and replace it with a video block so I'll show you how easy it is just come to the left see the video tab drag it in drop it in like so and there is your new video tab now if you want to add in your video there's a few options you've either got YouTube you've got a custom embed you can upload it directly to system and they can host it for you or you can direct link it depending where you host it you can choose custom embed or YouTube um, but there's one for everyone so it's easy to do so that's pretty good I might want to put a little bit of space in here as you can see it's tight so I might go on to this uh, the top sort of section and I'm going to give it a little bit of space at the bottom like so that looks a bit nicer it's not so cramped All right and then that looks pretty good to go now I'm also going to come here and maybe left align this like so All right and then I'm just going to type in a little bit of text hey welcome to the course in this video I'm going to explain how you can quickly and easily rank videos on YouTube and then I will show you how it's done and I can say don't forget to join the Facebook community you can do so by using the button below right so super easy to do next let's just say I want to put a button in so what you want to do is come back to your elements choose button like so drop it in and there it is now it's spaced out a little bit low so what I'm gonna do is just drag it back up like so easy type in the URL so I'm just gonna type in www.facebook.com slash group and then slash you know whatever your group name is <clears throat> you can open it in the same window or a new window I probably do a new window just so people stay on your course and then you can change the button text down here you can say join the Facebook community right and that's what it looks like it looks pretty good as you can see I've got Grammarly on here it's saying to put a comment so I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead click save changes and then I want to see what it actually looks like now just before you can actually see what it looks like you need to add yourself as a student even though your administration it's one of these things where you've actually got to um, add yourself as a student so you can see how it works so I just changed a little error what I'm gonna do is click exit okay um, so it's gonna take me back here and then what I'm gonna do is add a student now I'm going to put myself here so um, hello at oh, I'll say Phil Wilson right hello at I am Wilson.com right and click save and what this is going to do in a few moments I'm going to get an email asking to sign up and create a password all that sort of good stuff so I'm going to pause the video quickly wait till I get the email and show you what it looks like okay so we're back as you can see congratulations you've just gained access to the YouTube example which is the course name here's your username click this button to create a password so I'm gonna go ahead click on that type in a password I'll just type in this right and this is what people are gonna see once you actually um, get them inside the course so I'm gonna go click Save and now it's gonna log me in so here is my course um, I'm gonna go ahead and click open so basically this is going to be where everyone's courses are if uh, you've been through system.io it's under dashboard there is the library there is where all the purchase products are so I'm going to click open and now here is the course there's the one uh, lesson I've created and here it is that's what it looks like it looks pretty good right so it's exactly what it looked like inside of the editor and on the left we have our first module so what I would do right now if I was you I would actually go back to where are we here we are I would actually come back to this part here and I would start duplicating the lectures this is going to keep the format of your original uh, of your first lesson so you just keep duplicating um, until you've got the right amount of lectures for that module let's just say it's a five module then you can come back quickly click on the um, edit lecture settings and you can change the name right so I'm going to call this one um, 
what you need to know all right something like that and you can delay it if you want you can drip feed it to people or you can just let them have it it's up to you so as you can see second one's there now I'll go to the third one edit lecture settings <clears throat> like so I'll call this three um, the YouTube secret all right something like that click on save and then go to four as you can see just going through these quickly um, I usually map all my courses out on paper before I start creating them so it's easy to do Four. this could be the um, creating your channel right and then finally we could have say five um, and this could be you know getting or uploading uploading your video like so so it's super easy click on save it's all done now that is the first module if I come back again to the course and reload it now you will see there is actually five courses right there's a, sorry five lectures in the first module so if you can click it up and down it's there everything's good the buttons are all there so all I need to do is go through each module and start customizing it obviously putting the right video there putting the right text there right buttons if they need it things like that if you wanted to add another module right if you wanted to add another module to the course what you want to do then is click up the top add module and I'll call this module two, right? This could be uh, ranking videos like so click on save and what it's going to do is create another module like so. So the first one's here. It's got all the lessons second one's here, but it's got nothing. What I recommend you do is actually just duplicate once again. So you keep the format right and then come back, drop it down and then just drag it right drag it down to there. And now you're ready to go start off in module two so you can once again go and edit it right change the name and then you can go ahead and start your course um, you can go ahead and start your course content so I'm going to call this um, understanding SEO right <clears throat> and that's all done so if I come back to the course once again this is what it looks like with a, another module so once you're finished here there's also mark is complete I'll just show you once again so text been done Maybe you go all the way down now you can actually go to the next one so super easy to do right if i come back to the initial title as well here's all the different lectures so it looks super clean but the next step once you've actually finished the entire course is actually creating a funnel for it right so at the moment we've got the course the course is working well we know how to add students because we've added ourselves. let's just say you want to sell it right what we need to do then is actually create a funnel so I'm gonna go ahead create a funnel and then once you've created this you can actually also list it on the system.io marketplace but we'll leave that for another video so I'm gonna go ahead click create this is going to be the YouTube example um, course right and I'm gonna use for this my funnel scene domain and what I'm gonna do is sell a product right keep the US dollar because that's what I want to sell it and choose whichever currency is best for you and then click on create now what this is going to do is pre create an order form as well as a thank you page so everything is sort of ready to go all you need to do is come inside here and start editing it right so I'm going to click on the order form click on one I've chosen um, for this particular one I'm going to call this the YouTube example order right <clears throat> now if you want to have affiliates you can choose the commission um, usually it's about 30 or 40 and you want to have a 30 day um, payout so I'm just going to call this the YouTube example order form then you want to come along to the top make sure you always click the save funnel step before leaving any of the pages but we're going to stay on here for just a little bit longer what we want to do then is once you get to the, once you've saved it you see the resources tab and basically it says which the cust uh, which resources the customer will get after they purchase click on the plus choose the membership course like so <clears throat> and it's going to say uh, what is the course I'm going to say it is the YouTube example and full access or drip access and that is pretty much good to go now there's also offer price plans um, what we need to do in here is choose the price we, we want to uh, charge for these people so let's just say we're going to say it's a one shot one time price and then it's going to ask for our pricing plan now here is some of my existing pricing plans but there isn't the one I want to use so let's create a new one for this one um, so what I'm going to call this is the YouTube right YouTube um, example price right um, one time so I'll just say OT and once again we're just going to say one time price so this is what it's going to show up in the order form and statement descriptor is going to be basically what it shows up on people's uh, people's statements so I'm going to call this the YouTube course right I think you kind of spaces YouTube course and then what's the type once again it's going to be the one shot and I'm going to say it's uh, going to cost $197 click on save 
<clears throat> now that price plan is done it's all been added there now press on save and this is good to go so now what happens if i click on the preview page once again what's going to happen obviously once you've edited everything once people put in their name their email um, and they put in their card number all that sort of good stuff and it says here the one-time price so you'd obviously label your course and everything down here once they validate it then they're going to get sent to the thank you page as well as get sent the uh, course entry like you saw the email i did before um, so it's all very good it's very easy to do now what i recommend you do as well is create a thank you page basically this is the page that people are going to get sent to once they purchase the course inside there you can have things like hey this is your uh, order summary so i might just call this the order summary maybe even youtube order summary right your order is complete right completed <clears throat> click on the save once again then click on the edit and this is where you can edit the thank you page and what i recommend you do is add in things like if you have a facebook group you can add it there if you want them to connect with you on social media you can put all of that there but this is going to pre-populate with what they've purchased right so it's super easy to do but that's pretty much it so it's um it's really easy once again all the design is entirely up to you it's all drag and drop all that sort of good stuff now there's one more step I would probably do. So we have the order form now, we have the thank you page done, we have the course actually done itself. What we need to do now is create a sales page. So we wanna create a step. I'm just gonna call this the YouTube example sales page, right? Maybe even just the YouTube sales page, keep it shorter. Um, this is just for reference. Then next you wanna choose the type. What I'm gonna choose here is uh, scroll down to sales page, like so, click on save. And this is going to create a page where we can actually talk about our product that we're going to put before the order form right so if you have a video you could choose one of these video templates if you have a lot of text you could use a text template um, i highly recommend using a video template something short and sharp something very easy um, so let's just say we want to use this one here okay so click on select and then what it's going to do is take you to the editor um, or actually first it's going to take you here what i'm going to do is actually drag it right so you can see i'm dragging it on the left to drag it to the top so now this is the first plan of attack and what i'm going to call it is the youtube um, example course or maybe even just the youtube example and call it the youtube example all right click on save and then edit it and what this is going to allow you to do is sort of warm people up to your product before actually purchasing it so they know what they're they're buying and if you come down to the buttons all we need to do is click on the button and then when we see here action when button clicked all we need to do is click on next step url right so basically what it's going to do is when they click it it's going to take them to the order form so it's really simple to do um, so if i click on save and show you a demonstration of how it works um, just to show you what the page looks like as well there's loads of stuff on here it shows you the different prices all that sort of good stuff so obviously you go ahead and edit it all but let's click on the preview okay and this is just a preview page that's fine and click on the buy now and as you can see it takes you straight to the checkout fill in the information once that's done it'll take you to the thank you page and you'll get access to the course so that is how you create a membership if you want to take it one step further um, you can actually also add in a opt-in first like an opt-in for a free something that can take them to the the sales page or a bridge page then to the sales page you can make it as long as you want there's so many different funnel steps inside of here um, so you can just go in here go like crazy once again i've got some free uh, templates i'm going to be giving to people that sign up using the link in the description but that's basically it guys less than 20 minutes we've created an entire membership site we've created the sales funnel we've created the price we've created the product we've created everything so it's all ready to go anyway i hope you have enjoyed this video it's also a bit of a tutorial um, but super easy to use this software absolutely amazing and it's just incredible how you can actually create a membership and have your own affiliates at just 27 dollars a month Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you smash that thumbs up button so I know that you have. And make sure you subscribe for more videos. Once again, if you want to get started with system.io and you want to get all of the bonuses that I've mentioned as well as how you can make thousands of dollars a month using it, make sure you join up using the link below this video. All right, guys, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one.